internet bookmarking such as Digo, which is a free service that I have opened here, allow you to save things from different computers. You can share them with your colleagues and you can sort them. You would create an account. As you can see, I already have an account. And then you would open a website that you might want to save as a resource. So I've already opened the National Institute of Health. I then go up into the web address area. I'm right clicking on it and then I'm choosing to copy it to put it in the computer memory. I click back to my Digo library and I choose to add and then add a new bookmark. In the area that opens, I click into the URL space and I choose paste and then I come down and add titles and descriptions. Along with the descriptions, it's important to put in tags and these are the sorting categories that you're going to use later. Each term that you use will become a different category. If you want to keep two words together, simply put quotation marks around them. I've moved the screen up so you can see the final button, the Add New Bookmark, and you would click that when you've added all of your descriptions and your tags. You can see this is now added and the tags are shown here. And very importantly, along the side, I'm developing a list of all of the different topics that I've created tags for. You can see how many resources I've accumulated in each of these areas. You want to take some time to explore the different features, but a very useful one I'd like to highlight is Share. If you find one of the resources that you want to share with a colleague, you click share and then you can send it to an email address. I'm moving that up. You would fill in your message, the name of the person that you want to send it to, and then you click send. So as you can see, using these types of bookmarking tools allow you to quickly aggregate resources so you don't lose them. You'll have them on different machines you can sort them, categorize them, and you can easily share them with colleagues.